A business key is an index which uniquely identifies a row based on existing columns in the same table, and it helps avoid duplicate records. This video will show you this feature, which will be available with the release in February 2012. We're going to begin our demo with this class diagram here. It is related to a point of sale system. We can see the special offer items class here, special offer, the customer class, and the credit cards, and so on and so forth. Let's say we want to define a business key for the customer class here. To do that, right-click on it, select Open Specification, and the dialog box opened. Go to the Business Key tab, and then in this table here, we're going to select email and phone to become the business key. So after we select them, just click the select button here. And you'll see these uh, new additions here. And then click OK. Select tools, database, and then database configuration. In our example, we're going to be using MS SQL Server. So this is what we're going to select here on the left. And then over here on the right, we're going to enter the host name and the default port, the database name, and the username to log in, and the password. And then just click OK. To generate an ERD from the class diagram, simply right-click on any white space in this class diagram. Select Synchronize to Entity Relationship Diagram here. And then just click OK. And we're going to take the default values and just click OK. Select Tools, then Hibernate, then Generate Code here. And we're going to choose the output path here. And then we're going to take the default values, so just click OK. And then it's done, so just click Close. For checking, we can take a look at some of our generated code. Remember we specified the output path to the project folder in the C drive earlier, so this is where we go look. In here, go to the source folder, and then go to the ORM mapping folder, then the POS model folder, and this is the file that we're looking for, the customer file. Now let's open it in a text editor. And then in here, under the natural ID tag, we can see the two columns that we specified for the business key. 